Knoll Insiders Lane Hurt and Tim Linnefelt here with you after Jimbo Fisher has spoken to the media on Thursday. Let's get to your injury report. Out for the game, Jalen Wilkerson, but probably the biggest news of the day, Landon Dickerson out for the year with an ACL injury he suffered on Tuesday. A big blow to, to the offensive line. It's a really tough break for Landon, who I think had emerged as a pretty nice player over the start of his career. And I know, you know Florida State was hoping that with all this experience he was getting as a freshman, he could continue to grow and grow, uh, not only into a better player by the end of this season, uh, but also into next season as well. Uh, and now with a, an injury like that that requires long-term rehab, you just kind of have to hope that he you know, gets the treatment that he needs and is able to get back, hopefully, for the start of fall camp in August. But the good news for Florida State, at least in the short term, is that stepping in there is you have a guy in Wilson Bell who has a lot of starting experience. I think most people expected him to be the full-time starter coming into this season. So it's not as if you have a brand new unknown stepping in at that right guard spot. You do have a guy who knows the ropes uh, and has played in some difficult spots before. So uh, you hate it for Landon Dickerson, but I do think that in Wilson Bell, you at least have somebody who's capable can come in there and, and you know kind of keep that line uh, on steady footing. Knowles headed up to North Carolina, to Raleigh, to take on NC State, leaving this evening. Of course, it's been a house of horrors for, for the Seminoles. You found the, the stat today. The Noles haven't won back-to-back -back games in Raleigh since 94-96. What are some of the keys that Florida State's going to need to to get that back-to-back -back victory? Uh, you know, I think the big thing is, you know, you're, you're playing a team that's lost three straight games. I think they're going to come out there, night game, home crowd, all that kind of stuff. If they're ever going to play well, I think it's going to be that first quarter, that first few drives of the game. And if you can withstand that storm, score first, score a touchdown, to kind of take the crowd out of it, remind NC State that they have lost three straight and they're looking to make it four, I think you can kind of make quick work of it pretty easily. Now, the, if you do the opposite of that and if you fall behind the way you have sometimes over the course of the season, uh, then it's just sort of build and build and build. And the last thing you want to do is give a struggling team belief because, you know, an upset win over a marquee name like Florida State is, is the kind of thing that can turn a season around. And this is sort of the, the Waterloo, if you will, I think for NC State. So you you want to get rid of that as quickly as you can. There you have it, Seminole fans. Make sure you check out Tim's First and Ten on Friday morning, as well as the Knoll Insiders game preview. And then on Saturday, we'll have your three keys to victory as Florida State looks to defeat NC State. So for Tim, I'm Lane. Go Knolls.